G'day everyone, Lee Manutzi here, EXP Australia, and I've got Arahan Vergi on the line with me. How are you? Hello, guys. I'm good, thank you, Lee. How about yourself? Arahan down under. You're down in Adelaide? Yes, I'm down in Adelaide at the moment, yeah. And another uh, EXP agent who's fairly new, like most of us at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, so I've been with the EXP uh, grand total of about 12, just over 12 months, uh, so... Yeah, but very new to the industry itself. I've only been in real estate 18 months. 18 months? That's it. <laughs> wow. Okay. So tell us a bit of your story. So what what made you decide to jump into real estate? Well, I've been interested in property since I was a kid. Uh, when I moved to Australia from India, you know, I used to go to all these houses, look at all these amazing things. Could never afford one of those when I was growing up as a kid, come from a real poor background. Uh, it was something unattainable. And then eventually we sort of, I got to about 18, 19 years old, bought my first investment and then, you know, started building a portfolio through there with mom and dad as well. We started expanding our property portfolio. I've always been on the buyer side of things. And then I got to a state where we were about to close another property and I just had the worst experience with an agent. And I went, if this is the standard that people are delivering, there's a better way. And uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to jump into this because <laughs> I've had enough time on the other side. Now I'm going to step into the selling side and just help clean up the experience that people have. Yeah, nice. Yeah, certainly needs it, doesn't it, in the industry? I've noticed that quite a bit um, in different areas I've worked. Mm -hmm. um, well, so join real estate. You with... didn't start with EXP. You're actually working for a, no. a larger franchise mob. Yeah, so I started off with the different franchise mob, uh, good old yellow and white. Um, I mean, look, nothing oh, yeah. against them. I had a great time over there as well. Yeah, uh, Ray White, I used to work with. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very good learning experience. I thought, look, I wanted to get in, see if there's a secret source to it. <laughs> yeah. So you stayed with Ray White for what, six months or so? Six to eight months. Six to eight months. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I worked with Ray White period. too um, a while back. And, and I've got to say that, um, you know, some of the people I've worked with there and the experience and the learnings I had was phenomenal. Um, to be fair, mm -hmm. um, some experiences not so, good, but I think that's like most places where you work. So what what made you decide to of to course. leave Ray White and go towards EXP, or was was that the transition, or did you do something in between? No, so um, <laughs> it's funny you say that because when I started with Ray White, of course, with no experience in real estate, um, yep. I was working as an associate and uh you know working crazy hours i was on a minimum wage salary there was no incentives and things like that either so i was working multiple jobs just to keep the family afloat because i'd quit my previous career overnight and decided to transition into this with no backup or safety net wow <laughs> so i was working three jobs at the same time so i was working two other day job uh a night job and an evening job while working days in real estate it was uh just completely getting burnt out and um a lot of the ways we were doing things was just I felt counterproductive and I was really told that, look, this is the way it's always done and this is the way it has to be done. And I went, surely there's got to be a better way to do this because it just feels way too time consuming. Yeah. Anyway, I kept my mouth shut, did what I was told to do. Um, as time went on, I came across the XP and uh, immediately went, this is a no-brainer. Like, first of all, you can, well, it gives me the freedom and flexibility that I needed, yeah. which is controlling my time. I've got three young kids. It was the ability to work from home and work the way I needed to was a big, you know, attraction card for me more than the money side of things. And then obviously when you break down the model, of course the money's a big part of it. That's one of the reasons why we all go to work is, you know, we got to, we want to make a living. We want to earn a bit more as well. And uh, EXP would basically double my income. And, you know, the last 12 months I've pretty much tripled, quadrupled my income. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I can safely say a lot of people that I speak to, including myself um, making that transition, the income um, was definitely a no-brainer, um, but there was bigger parts to it, which you've just pointed out there, that that flexibility and freedom to sort of run your mm -hmm. own company under the EXP banner um, allows you to, yeah. to run your business okay. how you want it. Um, and EXP is really just the, mm -hmm. the platform to let you do that um, at a very low cost. Yep. Yeah. 220 bucks a month as a subscription fee. And then, uh, you know, you got your uh, standard tier model and, I mean, maximum of $25,000 in a year, and then it's all yours after that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a, a brilliant model. Trade up. <laughs> what have you found? Um, I mean, other than the income potentials, and there's there's multiple different income streams, I guess, that EXP offers. But aside all that, coming across mm -hmm. to EXP from um, the franchise model that you're with, 
What were some of the other things that you really noticed immediately when you joined? So for me, um, I'm a pretty fast-paced individual. I like to work at a certain speed and a certain rate. Yep. The beauty that I found with this was I can set the pace myself. Like if I want to go hard, I can go hard. Like I can work as much as I want to or as little as I want to. Secondly, it was the network and the access to the right people around me because straight away I jumped from an associate level to working alongside people who've been doing a lot more and a lot bigger numbers than I have. And I've just gone, these guys have been around for 10, 15 years. How can I replicate that in one year? Yeah. And everyone was just friendly and able to communicate and sharing. Like that's the biggest thing. Nobody's held anything back from me. And everyone in this community has, you know, celebrated and invited everybody along. Like we're a pretty close knit family in the XP, I feel, uh, especially like down here in SA, we just work in conjunction with each other. I mean, you and I are collaborating and you're in Queensland. I'm in uh, Adelaide, complete opposite ends of the country. Which is a cool story, isn't it? I mean, that that whole culture piece. And I, I know that you guys down there in Adelaide definitely have that culture, but across Australia mm-hmm. too, because I connect with yourself and a few other guys down yeah. in Adelaide, but in Brisbane, Melbourne, Victoria, I mean, we've Absolutely. got agents everywhere. And even in America, who's uh, my mm-hmm. team leader, actually, Ricky Carruth. Um, you know, so we're yeah. really connected all the way around the world. And one thing that I've found, which sounds like you've had a similar experience is that that collaboration piece, we're not trying to fight against each other and protect our assets no. or anything like that. We're actually willing to just work together and collaborate. And, you know, my success is your success, basically. 100%. It's collaboration over competition <laughs> every yeah. day of the week. Yeah. Every day uh, of the week. A, um, so you're about to actually, on saying that, and this is probably something that um, <laughs> needs to be mentioned, you're about to move up this way from Adelaide to Queensland. Yeah making a family right. move there to the Gold Coast. I understand. I'm mm-hmm. unfortunately not up to the sunny coast, but that's right. Close enough. Um, close what enough. a great thing that, uh, you know, you can actually continue doing what you're doing, but you can move anywhere in Australia Absolutely. or around the world. And look, that's one of the other beauties of this is that look, I'll give you a bit of background. Like I've work, been working since I was 15 years old. I've been working multiple jobs while attending school full time, working the whole way through while studying even into uni, working jobs, you know, online learning, all of those sort of things. So coming to EXP and having the free, like obviously the income changed, the freedom, the flexibility changed. I actually took a holiday for the first time in 10 years, uh, just a few months ago. Yeah. First holiday ever with my family. <laughs> and I took a month off and I was still transacting. Like I was sitting in Queensland because that's where we looked. That was the trip that sort of solidified that, you know what, we're going to move. <laughs> so yeah. we came up there for a holiday and we decided this is great because I could be here and still be transacting down there. And, you know, obviously, because that's where I started my career in Adelaide now. But when I move up there as well, I can be anywhere. And I can replicate the system, the processes to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. It's something, it's a little bit of the unknown, I guess, coming from your background and, and straight into the real estate. Well, you're pretty pretty much straight into EXP. You had a, a minimal time mm-hmm. there with another mob. But I think a lot of agents that have worked with the franchise model and worked in a brick and mortar store for so long, yeah. Um, and, and like you said, you know, the old office that you used to work for, they were stuck in their old ways. Mm-hmm. Um, now more than ever, we can, we can do real estate, um, from our home, from yeah. the comfort of our own home, have that flexibility, whether you want to work 12 hours a day or whether you want to work six hours a day, you know, mm-hmm. the model really suits anyone and, and the technology that we have in the company, but globally anyway, allows us to, to do our work from anywhere. Yeah. I look. What is real estate these days anyway? Uh, you mostly work off your computer. Even when you're sitting in the office, most of your work is done off the computer and off your phone. Yep. There's very little paperwork involved these days because everyone's going into a more digital age. Mm. So, I, you know, I was talking to another agent yesterday and uh, he told me, look, I've been with this company for 17 years. Uh, I've been, you know, the top, one of the top ranking, sort of the highest level of achievement you can achieve for the last 10 years, uh, doing over a million dollars in commissions. And he's like, I've been paying $280,000, $300,000 in fees to the company and i just asked him okay what did you get for that in return he's like crap i don't actually know what did i got for that because he paid two hundred eighty thousand dollars last year in uh comp splits and i went okay did you get any extra staffing he's like no we work as me and my wife work as a team uh did you go into the office no we've got a home office so what the hell did you pay two hundred eighty thousand dollars for <laughs> And that was just a moment where, where I went, you know, even you take a $200,000 average over 10 years, that's $2 million you paid that could have been in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, you got that's a, a like lot that. of money. That's a what, lot of what money. What could you do with that money? 280000 obviously, nice holidays or maybe in your car or something like that. But That's um, just one year, Lee. Yeah. That's just one year. <laughs> I mean, you could hire an assistant, you know, you could hire a couple of assistants, really. 
Um, exactly. <laughs> and then the extra workload or time back you'd get as well. So it's really a freedom model, um, which is probably one of the biggest things I found going out from a boutique franchise model here to mm-hmm. to my own business is that that level of freedom I had was next level. Um, yeah. And certainly the agents I speak to, we all do different things in our own way, um, but it all boils back down to, you know, that personal freedom in our lives. And that's the thing. It's it's a freedom and flexibility for everyone to do it their own way, but still sort of we work in the same collective fold, which is something I really love is that, you know, at the end of the day, real estate's real estate, but the way what separates us as agents is what makes us unique in the XP. Yeah. That's what I feel. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Arahan, good to connect, mate. Good to chat. Um, live with EXP agents, unplugged. Absolutely. Here today, one bit of advice you want to um, leave us with? Don't take time to decide it too long because I know you need the safety and security, but just take the plunge. Trust me, it sounds too good to be true, but it bloody well is. <laughs> it yeah. is that good. I wish I knew of the model two years before <laughs> I actually joined because I'd be that far advanced now. Of so. course. <laughs> good advice, mate. Thank you for joining us. No worries. Thanks, Lee. Cheers, mate.